Okay, hi guys. Here we go again. This is like honestly the fifth time I've tried to record this video. I did record myself cutting it, but I got interrupted so many times and I don't know how to piece the video back together, so I said just forget it. I won't do the cutting video. I'll just show you the soap after it's cut. So, this is my Sunshine scent soap, and I've never soaked this scent before. Um, but I make a bubble bar in this scent, so I was excited to make the soap out of it. And here it is. And it's just a bright yellow. It's coming out as kind of pale yellow in this light, but it is a, a bright yellow. And then I tried to do the, the white with the titanium dioxide, which always crackles on me, so I hardly ever use titanium dioxide. I just don't like it. Um, and then the gold body glitter there on the top to give it kind of the same effect that my bubble bars have. And so, here's those. And these came out really big. Um, they, most of them weighed well over five ounces, and one of them here, I think it was this guy here, this one weighed like six ounces, which is really big for my soaps. So next time what I will do is remember, I, what I was trying to do was cut it so that each one got one of these mounds here on the top, and so next time when I make the soap I'll remember to adjust the size of my mounds on there to um, make it so that I can still make it my normal size soap. So there is those. That's a sunshine. Oh, and the sunshine scent is very, it's a very sweet, almost like tropical, floral, bright scent. And, uh, you know, it's got like sweet florals like tiger lily and uh, I think lilac and then it's got like some pear and maybe a little melon in there so it's a really nice scent and it's very popular in my bubble bars and here is the mini loaf of that And there's the samples, which I'm waiting for those to sweat out because I just took them out of the mold out of the freezer. And once they're done sweating out, then I'll put the, the glitter there on the top of those. And I did want to show you while I'm doing this video, since it's a quick one, uh, my new... It's not really new packaging. It's kind of... It's still the same look as always. I still have, you know, the same hand-torn labels. I still tear those all by hand has all the same information on it. The difference is, the only thing I'm hand stamping is the weight. I'm actually weighing each soap as I package it and I'm, I'm stamping the actual weight of when I packaged it on there. And um, I'm not hand stamping the um, name anymore because it was taking way too long and there was no feasible way for me to continue to do that. Um, there's just, it's gotten too busy and too many different soaps and I just don't have the time to hand stamp them anymore. So my friend Chris, who is a wizard with a computer, she came up um, with a font for me that still gives a hand stamped look. I don't know if you can see that. It still gives it the hand stamped look without me having to hand stamp it. That is hot paint. I'm just giving you a couple examples here of what they look like. This is the one spitting. And some of them I do kind of jumble like that. It just depends on what I'm feeling about that scent. And this one here I'm taping. This one here is the pink sweets which is a new scent for me too, but I made this one uh, about five or six weeks ago. So it's all fully cured out and I just got done packaging them up today. And this one is my pink sugar dupe. 
and it's just a brown soap because of course the high vanilla content you can't see it there but it's that just a slight sprinkling of pink on the top you can't see it through the packaging but that's pink sweets and so now what I'm doing too since I've upped I'm doing lots more samples because I was running out of samples and I had none to send out and so I was ending up having to send out full-size products and um, you know that gets costly so I'm making tons more samples than I used to and so and I so to save myself time instead of having to write each one of those names out on those little labels I now can just print out sheets of them to go along with and they match up with the um, the soaps you know you can see a little bit of the, the pink there on the top of the pink sweets and there my here's the one spitten there's a hot pink pomegranate so that's the looks of those now same look just more feasible for me to be able to do now so all right i guess that's it and um thanks for watching this soap will be available in about four to six weeks on my etsy and, and my art fire and i'll leave the links down below and i hope you guys are having a great summer uh, i don't expect to do many more videos um this summer i'll try to throw one in now and then so i'll look forward to making and watching videos again this winter all right take care guys thanks for watching bye bye